Hello everyone, my name is Veritas, and welcome to an episode of uh, information on the latest Black Ops 2 patch, which was released today, September 18th. Um, you might have noticed a 86 megabyte something or other update, and since uh, they're very bad about actually telling you what the updates are like have in them, I'm going to tell you now in this video, so enjoy the gameplay, and um, I will be re reading off the things that they have fixed in the September 18th patch. Uh, starting off with multiplayer issues in general, uh, they fixed an issue with the users equipping score streaks in unintend unintended circumstances, and ladders now appear correctly when viewing them from your profile while in league menu if you are in league play. Um, now that's just general, moving into the map stuff, it's just the maps that were added in the recent DLC Apocalypse, so um, if you didn't download that DLC, the patch will not affect you at all really in any way. Um, but um, anyway, moving into Dig. RCXD now properly travels over various brick piles and patched up ground underneath one of the metal plates, uh, so it's not glitchy. Uh, moving into Frost, which has a lot of wall banging issues. Um, bots now behave correctly when capturing flags in Domination. Players can no longer leave playable areas by jumping on unintended collisions in the water. Added player collision with two bicycles next to one of the buildings. Frozen ice in the northeast corner now has proper player collision. Address an extended collision on a wall next to a building which has been getting used as an exploit. I know what that is because it's called uh, spawn sniping and it's a bitch. Uh, fix an issue where weapons could go through uh, the bank doors giving players unintended views of the maps. Uh, players can no longer exit the map via the frozen river. Lower, draw, uh, lower drawer in the kitchen in one of the houses now has proper collision like that was a problem to begin with. Players can no longer see into one of the southwestern buildings to the top of the doorway. Address players being able to see outside the map in the northwest section. Address invisible player collision on a panel in one of the northwestern buildings. Patched up ledges on one of the buildings in the northwest corner. Apparently the northwest corner has a lot of issues to it. Uh, added proper collision under the multiple windows in one of the buildings. An appropriate collision has now been added to show uh, to the snow mounts on top of the boat. So that's a thing. So a lot of collision issues with frost. They had a lot of vector problems. Moving into pod, my least favorite map of this thing. Uh, define collision on one section of rocks in the northeast section. Fix an issue where a small section of brick walls would appear transparent on one of the pods. Scaffolding on the east pod tower has now been has now proper collision. Ceiling in the northeastern tower now appears correct when viewed. Uh, construction barriers have now proper collision throughout the map and fix an unintended collision on the map of fences which was being used to exploit. Man you guys are good at finding exploits in this game. And finally, the remake of Stadium Takeoff. Uh, fixed a rare issue which was causing the player's arms to be invisible during the countdown timer. Players no longer are able to stand on the exterior ledge alongside the launch center building. Sentry guns are no longer target enemies through lift 4C's uh, doors and added collision to the boxes near the control rooms and the visitor center. So those are just the maps. Now moving into zombies, if you skipped here... Um, for whatever reason, because of the pop-up, uh, this is the uh, zombie issue fixes. I'll go over general, and then I'll go through the extensive list of origin fixes, because that was bound to happen. Moving into zombie issues uh, that were addressed. General, improved stability during local play when attempting to sign in using a guest profile. Addressed an issue which caused the background music to stop playing while in menus. And map icon for die rise no longer moves around the global rapidly when origin is selected. Okay. Now that's just general stuff. Moving into Origins, which was bound to have many, many problems, and there's about 50 here. So bear with me. Here are the issues that were fixed with Origins. Fixed multiple issues where the player could see outside of the map using the free cam mode in theater. Players will join. Players who join a session already in progress after round one are no longer able to ride the tank without its countdown, without its cooldown. Uh, fixing issues where zombies couldn't get to the player if they were hanging off a ledge near the ruins. Uh, addressing an issue with unlimited ammo when swapping out at the staff of elemental. When, stopping out, when swapping out the staff in the elemental charging chamber, players can no longer obtain the Master Wizard achievement through spectating. Fixed multiple issues where the tank was unintentionally pushing players through the map. Lobby preview icons can appear correct, now appear correctly under the stat summary screen. Players can no longer get to unintended areas of the map using the Panzer Soul, that's uh, claw attack. Semtex grenades can now be properly acquired in the church. The Panzer sold that no longer gets stuck in front of the tank when players are standing on top of it. I, I was in a lobby where someone was doing that. We actually broke the Panzer sold that. Um, upgraded, uh, upgraded stabs can no longer be duplicated in the ruins. Addressed an issue where the PhD flopper was doing unintended amounts of damage if the player was holding an upgraded staff. Interesting. Panzer sold that's no longer become stuck in the air when spawning in front of a robot. I'm guessing that means the mechs. Um, players are no longer... 
Players are no longer free from zombie attack when standing on the tank's control panel. That was a thing. Damn it. I wish I had known that. Uh, fixed an issue where the players could get pushed into an unintended area by the robot's foot and be free from zombie attack. That was, I think, by stamina up. You could jump onto the robot's foot from there. I know that for a fact. And the ruins uh, from that same area. Um, players are no longer able to exploit by focusing fire at a spawn point at the bottom of a fire tunnel. What? That's interesting. Um... That's actually really cool. Uh, fix an issue where Panzer of stole and zombies were moving in slow motion after spawning in. I wish they'd left that in. Um, Panzer of stole now behave correctly when it's been kited by a group of, into a group of zombies. Well, at least that's a term now. Uh, staff parts are now update properly on the scoreboard during a four-player local split-screen game. Why the hell you would play split-screen zombies four-player? I have no freaking idea. Players can now properly use the upgraded staff melee after obtaining and losing the one-inch punch perk. It's a thing. Um, address an issue with zombies walking into sandbags, ignoring nearby players. Should have left that in. Um, that's about half the list. Panzer Soldats now function properly when grab when grabbing a zombie twice in a row with its claw attack. I didn't know they could do that. Fix an issue where players can get out of the map, uh, out of the playable area in a co-op game by using the robot's foot. Yeah, that's an exploit. Um, Max's drone should now find its way to the players correctly in the workshop bunker. Um, FX for upgrading the staff are oriented correctly. Panzer stole that's no longer get stuck behind the juggernaut perk when entering the robot's footprint. That's oh, that makes sense. Uh, players no longer get downed by the robot's foot when standing on the scaffolding next to the pack of punch machine. Huh, interesting. Uh, Max drone no longer gets stuck near the church tank exit. Panzer stole that's no longer get stuck on the players on the player's head in the church during a co-op game. Wow, that's that'd be funny to see. Players can no longer dive to prone out of playable areas in the church. Okay. Uh, zombies now properly get to the players if they are crouched on the park tank. Damn it. Um, improved stability on local four-player game when a player pauses the game and then presses the back button. Players now properly spawn around the pump station four. Aren't they generators? I thought they were generators. Whatever. Uh, Panzer Soldats no longer get stuck inside the trench in between the starting area and generator three. Uh, players who go prone on the back edge of the tank are no longer free from zombie attack. Damn it. Um, improved stability in a four-player local game when upgrading staves during round uh, 11 through 13. These are very specific exploits here. Um, players no longer fall out of the map when the Panzer Soldat does its claw attack. Zombies now properly get to the players at the bottom of the church when the tank is parked. Fixed an issue where Panzer Soldat was getting stuck if the player was jumped on top of the tank repeated, jumped on and off of the tank repeatedly. Did that one. That was fun. Players are no longer free from zombie attack when crouching on top of a certain trench walls. And zombies now properly get to the players with the robot footprints on top of the tank station. In the robot footprints on top of the tank station. Holy crap. So, mainly all of the exploits and the origins are gone. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure out new ones and there are some they probably haven't fixed. Um, but this is why we don't show things on YouTube, guys. This is why we don't post videos of exploits on YouTube, because they fix them. Um, anyway, other than that, that's about all the stuff you needed to know. That's the entire patch. I, in the description, there's a link to the page I got all this information from if you want to go there and read it yourself. If you got irritated, would be reading a list of hundreds of things that they fixed, which are very tiny. Um, so, yeah, there's a link in the description if you want to look at the list for yourself. Uh, other than that, that's that. So, um... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Veritas and Filler Killers, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, this stuff. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys all later, and I will hopefully do a video next time there's a patch. Have a great day, everyone.